SoapNet, pure soap 24-7. Seizure subsided. Larissa Pam's on board. Baby, you, you said if I keep seizuring that the baby's... Hey, Beth, Beth, I also said that we are not going to let anything happen to your little boy, okay? Okay. Okay. Now just close your eyes and relax. We'll be right here. we got to find out why she's still seizing. We've ruled out nearly every possible Except cause. Except syndrome. And we're not going to know about that until we get her liver enzymes. Well, back. where are those labs? Uh, 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 Beth? Beth, what is it? Uh, where? In here. Uh, where are those labs? Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Liver enzymes are up. Platelets are down. Her BP's through the roof, 240 over 180. Yeah, this helps. Oh, well, it's good. It means you're going to be a mother a little sooner than we expect. No, okay. No, I can't. Yeah. It's okay. Please, no, it's all right. We're going to have to get this little lad out of there. Otherwise, your liver could rupture, and we could lose your blood. Fetal distress. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Here, it's okay. Come on, you stupid thing. Work. So, what's the story? Skateboard accident. Oh, no, not another busted head. It's gonna tell radiology to stand by and I'll need a full pound. Neil. Hey, buddy. Hey, Joe. Sorry to bother you. Bother me? You could never bother me. What's going on? Wipe out on my skateboard. Oh, come on. A pro like you, I find that hard to believe. You weren't wearing any knee guards? Yeah, what's up with that? You always wear your gear, don't you? I have my helmet on. Mm-hmm. Where's your mom? Is she in the waiting room? She's not here. She's not? Well, I was in the park with Nate, but he had to go home for dinner. What if it's broken? <laughs> well, if it was broken, trust me, you'd know it. But it still could be really messed up. I mean, look at all that blood. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose we could take a look. Uh, Gabriella, would you hand me some gloves, please? Yeah. Maybe you should call my mom and Frank. In case it is bad. I mean, I know they'd both want to be here. <laughs> Saturation's <laughs> dropping 88%. She's hypoxic. The baby oh, isn't getting enough oxygen. Baby. Baby. It's okay. She's going into pulmonary oh, edema. Right. Let's get her prepped for a crash C-section now. Beth, listen to me. You've got a little bit of fluid in your lungs. That's why it's so hard to breathe. Baby's in distress, but I promise oh, you we are going to take care of you both. You just keep breathing through the mask. That's it. Nice and easy. That's it. Marcella, Good. 60 milligrams of Eurosmite IV push. Got it. Okay. Uh, okay. Easy, Beth, easy, you're doing easy, fine. Easy, Baby's easy. heart rate's coming back up. Saturation's at 91%. Call L and D. Tell them we're on our way. Look, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, you're all together, all right. I can tell. He just scared me when he slammed the door. Oh. Maybe you ought to switch to decaf lattes. And maybe you, know? you should stop sneaking up on people. I wasn't sneaking. 
What is up with you anyway? Nothing. Okay, can we just drop it? Fine, fine. Fine, whatever you say. You got anything to work yet? No. All right, let me take a look. Whatever, I'm gonna go inside. You said the dish was out. Excuse me? Remember when I, when I asked you why you, you kind of followed me and everything? You, you said you remember that the satellite wasn't working and that you thought that I would be bored, <laughs> remember? Yeah, well, you can see that it's working now. So what are you saying? It kind of just fixed itself? Is that what you're trying to tell oh, me? Oh, look, I love this show. Never seen it before. What? Oh, my God, this is so good. These kids, like, compete in these amazing challenges. This is awesome. Yeah, well, I got them all beat. I'm hiding out with you. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't get a, almost get us busted by calling Frank. Nice. Well, if you hadn't gone and fainted on me at the warehouse, I wouldn't have to call anybody. Look, I, I told you it was just because I hadn't eaten. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. God, there's, like, 500 channels on this thing. Can't, can't you get, like, something? Oh, uh, weather. This is cheery. <laughs> So what is up with this TV, man? Dang. I mean, come on, turn on like a like a good good cop show or something, or like a movie or anything, this man. Is all this is about reality shows now, Jamal. Uh, you know, I got enough of that in my life. You know what? That gives me a great idea. Uh, no, uh, seriously, no, they could no. have like a like a real show, and it could be about people like us. Whatever, you're crazy. No, <laughs> yeah, they could call it a um, real fugitives or, or real innocent fugitives. Okay, they could have a camera following us around in our search for justice, and then we could show everybody how we outsmarted all the evil bounty hunters trying to get our prize. That sounds good. That's about the dumbest idea I've ever heard. What? No, it's not. As a matter of fact, when we get out of here and all this is all done, I'm going to pitch that to a contact of mine in the biz. Oh, please, what contact? I have a contact, my cousin out in L.A. He's like a producer. Or a production assistant the craft services i don't know something anyways i can totally sell that great go ahead knock yourself out then you have like no imagination mm-hmm coming to me fam you know i threaten you with a knife hey whoa whoa hey where are you going Allison! Allison, where are you going? Beth, you're doing better now. Baby's heart rate is up, and Dr. Newman's gonna meet you in the OR. Stay strong, all right? You can do it. Mm -hmm. Off you go. That's good work, Doctor. You want about yourself. Thanks. I have to admit, though, I was pretty scared for a while. Well, we both know how easily things can go wrong. Yeah. Uh, I've uh, got to do the paperwork. Yeah, to the desk. I have a patient, too. Yeah, I'll see. All right. happening to me. What is it? I keep seeing his face over and over. Who? Cedric's. Uh, what do you see? Hmm? At first, I just saw his face. And, and then... He was in the warehouse, and I was there. 
And then he, um... He what? Hmm? I don't know. It's all the jumble. And the harder I try to remember, I can't. You don't need to try, okay? You already know what happened. <laughs> but if it's as easy as you say, then why can't I remember it like that? It's because you're forcing it, okay? You need to, you need to just relax. Okay, and stop thinking about it. Like, I no, keep no, you. no. All these images and things that I keep seeing, they're coming out of nowhere. I, I'm not even trying to because remember it's, it's them. It's like your mind is just playing tricks on you, okay? It's like a bad dream. Okay, half the time, you know, the things won't even make any sense. But most of the time, it's nothing that ever even happened. I know, I know. I kept telling myself that, but I still... But I, what? What? But I can't believe it anymore. Well, you should believe it. I can't! Jamal, look at me. I'm starting to remember what happened the night Cedric died, and I'm shaking. Okay, it's one thing for you to tell me what happened, but it's completely different for me to put it together in my mind, to remember exactly what happened, okay? That is what I am going through right now, and I'm scared. I'm really scared. <laughs> So what kind of move are you busting when it happened? Heel flip. Yeah, those can be pretty tricky. You know what that is? Sure. It's when you do an ollie, pushing down with your heel. Before it spins counterclockwise, then you land in right away. Oh. How do you know that? Well, who doesn't? Practically every girl I've ever known. Well, I'm not just any girl. No kidding. So can you do a backside 180? Not without landing on my butt. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Are you, are you kidding? I've got six brothers. I've heard much worse language than that. Six brothers? No way. Way. That's so cool. Well, not all the time, but they did teach me a lot of cool stuff. I wish I had a little brother I could teach things to. Well, maybe you will someday. Doubt it. Why is that? It's just my mom and dad aren't even. It's just not gonna happen. Hey, Chef. How's the knee? Did you reach my mom? Couldn't get a hold of either of them. Line was busy. Well, Frank wouldn't be there anymore. Oh, is he working tonight? I don't know. He moved out. He moved out? When? Today. Listen, Neil, you and your mom probably just had a disagreement, okay? I'm sure when things cool down, he'll be back, okay? No, Frank told me he was leaving. He said he couldn't live with my mom anymore. Neil, I'm sorry. Remember last year when I was so sick? How close they were? Yeah. You know they love you, right? Huh? I think you're being sick. Just made them see how much. You know? Yeah. That's why I thought... I just know they still love each other, but... I thought if I could get them together, they could talk it out and say they're sorry. Maybe they could work things out. Maybe. Joe? You think you could talk to them for me? I would, Neil, I would. You know I'd do anything for you, but this is between your mom and your dad. I'm sorry, buddy, but that's just how relationships work, you know? Listen, I'll tell you what. I'll try paging your dad, okay? All right? I'll be right back. Dr. Jacobs to psychiatrics. Dr. Joe! If you want to stay with him, I can page Frank. You know, I can't believe this. I mean, I knew they were having problems, but I, you know, I thought after everything they'd been through, everything Neil had been through, they'd at least try to make it work. Well, maybe they did. Not hard enough. Joe. I, I mean, do you think they even thought for a minute what this would do to him? Hell no. I'm sure they knew how hard this would be for Hard. Him. He went and banged himself up on purpose, Gabriella. I know that. And he's looking to me to fix it. What am I supposed to tell him, huh? How do I make a kid understand why two people can't be together? Well, I'm still trying to figure that one out myself.
Eve? Yeah, I'll be right there. I just called the OR and Beth and the baby are doing great. How are you? I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. I guess it's just a little end of the shift meltdown, you know? You know how it is, right? Maybe you don't. You think it doesn't get to me? Does it? Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. I know how involved you are with the clinic and everything, and... And everything, yeah. I guess I, I just, uh... I took this one a little more personally than normal. Is there anything I can do? No, I'll be fine. Sure you will. But, you know, if, if you want to talk to someone, I have, uh... Thanks. I, um, I actually called my husband. Great. No, good. Of course you did. Good. Yeah, well, it's not good because he's unavailable. He's with a patient and he can't be reached. Oh. Well, I'm not your husband, thank God. But um, maybe I'll do in a pinch, huh? I'm sorry if I overstepped my bounds. I was hoping that maybe I could help in some way. Well, thank you. That's very nice. Just, um, it's personal. You know, I, I'd rather, uh... I'm not comfortable. <sighs> Hello? Eve, it's Jamal. Oh, my gosh. Where are you? Are you okay? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm calling you. What? What, what do you mean? It, uh, Allison. She's, uh... What? What? She's what? I, I, I think she's having, like, a mental breakdown or something. I don't know if she's got to see a doctor or something. She's she's freaking. Where are you? Uh, I'm at the Barrington's cabin on, on Mount Greer, at the end of Skyline Road. Okay, keep her calm and warm. I'm on my way. Is there anything I can do? I gotta go. You had a rough day. Maybe we should reconsider that. Yeah, I'll be fine. I, I'm sure you'll be fine. Wait a minute. Maybe we should call your husband and tell him to take you. I told you my husband is not available. Now I have to go. Like you... I like to be there for people in trouble. <sighs> Did you get mom or Frank? Sorry, buddy. He's on a run and your mom's line is still busy. That figures. She's always on the phone. Yeah, with whom? Probably that Mrs. Barrington lady. Amanda Barrington? You know, the one with the granddaughter. Granddaughter was missing? Yeah. Well, don't worry. Gabriella will keep trying. In the meantime, how about a little acetaminophen for the pain? Huh? I'm not really that hurt. Just thought it'd be a good way to get your parents in the same room, maybe scare them into making up. I just don't want Frank to go. You know he loves you, right? No matter what happens between him and your mom. Neil? Every time I get a new dad, he disappears. Hey, listen to me. Have I disappeared, huh? No, but whenever I want to see you, Mom says you're busy. She does. Well, I have been busy, but I'm never too busy for you. In fact, I'm going to take you home myself and make sure your mom knows that, okay? <laughs> nice night for a drive. What are you doing? I'm going with you. You don't even know where I'm going. Something about someone being in trouble. Well, I thought I'd give you a hand. No questions asked. Buckle up. Everything's gonna be all right, baby.
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. On the next Port Charles. I was in the hospital and you didn't even know. Because you're too busy to even care. I'm a, a volunteer hostage, but I would love to know what I volunteered for. I need for you to tell me. I need to remember what happened. The kids are asleep, and the TV is all yours. It's time to unwind with an encore episode of tonight's All My Children, coming up next on SoapNet, Pure Soap 24-7. Never know who to trust on All My Children, coming up next, followed by One Life to Live and General Hospital, SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you. Week on SoapNet.